Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Hey, my friends, look what we got. Are you ready? Day 17? <laughs> can you believe it's not been that long? I can barely, I can barely remember. I had to look it up like three times and I didn't know. So day five, you ready to see what's happened? Oh my goodness. But before we, we get into what's happened, we need to review a few things. The reason why we're learning about caterpillars is to learn about its life cycle. It's really important to know what comes first, what comes next, and then what happens at the end, right? There's a sequence of events. Just like when we're reading books, right? We have to go over the sequence of events. We have what happened first, and we have to use that sequential order. What happened first? What happened next? Then what happened? And what happened at the end? We're going to do the same thing with the life cycle of a butterfly. Can you go over with me again? Do you remember what comes first? What comes first? Let me hear you. <gasps> Did you say egg? You got it. Let's look again. I remember, this is for a monarch butterfly. So our eggs looked a little bit different. Oh goodness. Can you believe it? They were that small? We didn't even get them as eggs, did we? No, we didn't get them as eggs. We got them as what? What came next? Do you remember what came next? Do you remember? Let me hear you. Did you say caterpillar? You're right. Next came the caterpillar. Out of that little tiny egg came a very hungry caterpillar. <gasps> that kind of sounds like Eric Carle's little book, right? We love that book, don't we? Well, what did that caterpillar start doing? It started eating and eating and eating and eating. And what happened to that caterpillar? It got big and fat and, well, then what happened? What happened next? Do you remember what happens next? Let me hear you. Do you remember what it's called? If you say cocoon, that's because you've been reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Well, we know cocoons are not for butterflies. Cocoons are for moths. There's another special word for butterfly. Can you remember what it is? When they make that home around themselves? When they molt their skin for that last time? and they protect themselves, and inside there, they turn into a fluid, so they're just, they're just kind of like water, but a different kind of fluid, a pink fluid, it's a metabolic fluid, a transformation fluid, ooh, for their metamorphosis. Do you remember what it's called? It's not called a cocoon, those are for moths. Do you remember? Let me hear you. Did you say, did you say chrysalis? <gasps> you remembered, great job, my friends, here. If you remembered, that the monarch butterfly one is green, like this. But we haven't looked at what our painted ladies are gonna be like. I wonder what our painted ladies are gonna be like. Is it gonna be green like this? Is it gonna be brown? Is it gonna be black? Is it gonna be gold? Is it gonna be red? Is it gonna be purple? Is it gonna be blue? Is it gonna be pink? What did you think it was gonna be? What color? Well, the monarch butterfly one is green, like this. And it's called a chrysalis. And when there's more than one chrysalis, it's called chrysalises. Chrysalises, that's a silly word, but that's for multiple. What happens after they become chrysalis? What comes out of the chrysalis? And they go in here. What's it gonna be? Do you, do you remember? What are we doing this for? What's that last final stage? of the life cycle, of the life cycle of a butterfly. You got it. It's gonna be a butterfly. Out of that chrysalis is gonna be a butterfly. Can you believe it? A butterfly coming out of that little small, small house? I wonder how it's gonna do that. I wonder how it's gonna get big wings like that when it's all curled up inside there. Because that magic inside that chrysalis is trying to grow wings like this. And I wonder how it's going to do that. 
how is it going to break open and get big wings like this? What is it going to need to do to flatten those wings? Oh, I can't wait to find out. We have so many things to do. Still, like when they come out of the chrysalis, how do they get those flat wings? Well, they're going to have to do something, right? Because it's curled up. Those wings are curled up right now inside the chrysalis growing. What is it going to do? How is it going to come out? I can't wait to find out. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Oh, I know you are. Well, let's get started. Are you ready? Oh, oh you, you want to see how they changed? Oh, I can do this. Do you see? Do you see the caterpillar hanging upside down? And slowly it rips off that last exoskeleton. Well, actually, it's doing it pretty quickly, isn't it? And look, it's squishing its body over and over to form the chrysalis. And inside, it's the liquid that we talked about. And that liquid is going to grow the butterfly. The butterfly's wings, its antenna, its six legs. On day 12 and 13, the caterpillars started roll, crawling their way all the way up to the top, snatching their little toesies with some silk and hanging upside down, kind of looking like a J, right? They were looking like J's hanging. Oh, goodness. They were, they were doing what? what? Is that called again? They were molting their last skin. They were molting from a caterpillar into a chrysalis. They're not bright green. They're kind of like a tan green, right? Did you see the spikes? They have spikes on the back. And I saw little speckles of gold. Did you see those little speckles of gold? Oh, they look so beautiful. They look way different than the monarch butterfly. These are painted lady butterflies. And they are going to look different than a monarch butterfly. Like the one we showed in our pictures. So what we need to do now is we're going to take the tops off the cup. But I need to make sure that my hands that have germs on it don't get the caterpillars or the, you know, the chrysalis, any germs on them. Does that sound like a good idea? Let's, let's be safe for them. And inside here, we have one that didn't molt its skin. He only split the back of its skin and started molting, but he didn't molt all the way. I don't know if he's going to survive or not, but I want to know. I want to take the time to see if he will emerge as a butterfly or not. Let's take a look. So when you open this, it's going to smell a little stinky. Yeah, it's a little stinky. And we need our Q-tip to clean off all the excess silk. So that way, when the butterfly emerges, when the butterfly emerges, oh, look what it's doing. What's it doing? We woke it up. We woke it up. Do you see him? We woke him up. He started, sh oh, oh. He's shaking again. Why is he shaking? Do you want to know why he's shaking? He's shaking because he thinks I'm going to eat him. He thinks I'm a bird. I'm not a bird. Don't worry, little guy. I'm not a bird. I'm not going to eat you. But if I was, if I was one of these caterpillars and I thought, oh, something's near me. Something's near me. I would wiggle like that too. I would wiggle and shake. And I think if I was a bird, I'd be like, ah, what is that? I don't want to eat that. That scares me. <gasps> this is a great way to stay safe. This is a great way to stay safe. You see this little black piece of, it looks like a little black ball right there. That's its last exoskeleton. It's got its head and its feet on there. And the whole last bit of skin's there. Can you believe it? It, it 
tore off like that? What an adventure these little caterpillars have had. They have been on such a crazy adventure. They've been using a lot of their magic to change. Now this one, he's not shaking. I don't think he's survived. But we're going to see because we have to wait just in case, right? Ooh. But the other ones are shaking. They're alive. And they're changing. They've got that fluid in there. There's not even bones or anything yet. It's still all growing from nothing, from fluid, from metabolic fluid. Can you believe it's doing that out of nowhere? Oh, goodness. Well, we cleaned it up. And now I can take my tweezers and I can even take off these exoskeletons. I'll show you that later, okay? That's pretty cool, right? That way, when the butterflies come out, there'll be nothing in their way. I'll leave this one on so we can get it closer. So once we're done, once it's out, we don't need this cup anymore, do we? No, we don't need it. It's pretty stinky. It's pretty gross inside there, too. We'll give you a close-up of that, too, won't we? Oh, yeah. No, all it has is just its waste. But it sure ate all that food, didn't it? My goodness, it's like all gone in there. They were really hungry. Now, after we, we do that, we have these caterpillar, I think they call it chrysalis log holders or chrysalis the log holder. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. And it sits let's see how we can do this. Like that. Do you see them sitting on there? Now, this one's probably not going to change, right? We talked about that. This one is probably dead. And that's just how, na how nature happens, right? It makes us really sad, but some just didn't transform. This one didn't transform. And I looked up a couple things. It's because it might not have produced enough juvenile hormone. And that juvenile hormone helps them create that chrysalis. If they have too much or they have too little or it doesn't do what it needs to do, he he climbs up to the top of the cup too soon and he's not ready to mold. And that's that's sad, but it's just part of nature. So if he doesn't emerge, I'll take him outside so that maybe another animal can eat it and we can help another animal have their dinner. Because I'm sure there's other people who are hungry too. Other animals are hungry and that's just the circle of life is when you... When one animal dies, it can feed another one. Did you watch Lion King? I know you've watched Lion King. I've watched Lion King. And when, when they were talking about it, the animals turn into the grass. And the grass feeds right, the, the other animals that they were eating. And it's like a big circle. Same thing with caterpillars, right? Sometimes we need to help feed the birds. And that guy might just have to help feed the birds. It's really sad, but that's what we have to do. So then I put it in here. Now, in my canopy, do you see what's in the bottom of that canopy? That's paper towels. Ah, when they come out of this chrysalis, it is messy, I tell you, and I don't want any of it on my kitchen. I don't want it on my table. I don't want it getting anywhere, but that metabolic fluid kind of looks like blood. It's not blood. It isn't. But it's their metabolic waste. It's what helped them change from a caterpillar into fluid into a butterfly where it grows everything inside there. So that's what we're gonna need to do, right? Keep something in there just in case. They're still wiggling and jiggling, see? And now they're in there. I have to do that for all of these. I'm probably not gonna do that all on camera for y'all, but I will show you once they're all done. Would you like to see? They're still wiggling in there. You see them wiggling? You 
got more of these little log holders. And I want to talk about the ones that have fallen all the way to the bottom of the cup. A lot of my friends were concerned about the ones that fell to the bottom of the cup. So all of these will fit in the little holders like this. The ones that fell down to the bottom. Oh, I don't know how this guy's doing. I don't know if this one is doing very well, but sometimes when they fall at the bottom of the cup, you kind of just have to let them molt. And if they molt incorrectly and it forms a chrysalis in a, in a way that doesn't look normal, they can't come out of the, the chrysalis. So we'll have to look at this guy too. But we have 20 chrysalis sits right? 20 of them. That means if a couple of them just don't make it, that's okay. We still have plenty more, don't we? This one, they told me to put right at the bottom, right on top of the paper towels. And just in case it emerges, it will be ready for us. You see it? There it is. There's a couple other ones that fell to the bottom. We're going to have to do the same thing with those too. And I'll have to take some time to get all the silk off. That's going to take a while. Sure, it's going to take some time. We got to make sure there's plenty of silk taken off so they don't get tangled up in it. See? A lot in there. A lot of silk in there. Well, this one has a caterpillar all the way at the bottom. And this one looks really good. Oh, he fell down. Gotta be very careful. You don't know what could happen to them if we're too rough. Maybe it'll squeeze them. Oh yeah, he's very much alive. Oh, there he is. This one looks a lot better than that last one. I think this one's gonna emerge just fine as a butterfly. And it's gonna be in about five more days. So we're on day 17. What number comes after 17? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So day 22, we might have butterflies. Are you ready to wait for me? Oh, I can't wait either. It's kind of hard to be patient when you're so excited. Well, that's, that's all the ones I had to get from the bottom. Do you want to see some more up close? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for, for, for you to tell me how much you like seeing all of them and getting ready for them to turn into butterflies. That's pretty exciting. These are the exoskeletons I was telling you about. They kind of look like little black balls. Yeah, well, that's its fur that it had on there, you see? And now it's all squished up and it's a lot smaller than it used to be. It's very teeny tiny. I have to use tweezers just to... Just to move it around. You see their, their legs? There's some legs right there. Those little spiky things. That's their legs. That's what that used to be. Their legs crawling around all in that cup. And you can really see their head still on there too. These are two caterpillars that shed its last exoskeleton. Wow. They made it so small. They scrunched it up. And they built the chrysalis underneath it. They look just like the caterpillars used to. See, this is the exoskeleton. It ripped off this chrysalis. And it just kind of hangs at the top. See? Oh. You can just pick it up and remove it. So that the butterfly can come out. And that the exoskeleton doesn't get in the way anymore. Here's my four chrysalises. You see them? They kind of look like they have little gold speckles on them. That's because they do. They're kind of shiny and spiky. They've got like a tan greenish look to them. They're not bright green. They're kind of like a dull green. Sometimes if you wake them up, they'll wiggle. You want to see them wiggle? Maybe we can get one of them to wiggle for you.
There's our four chrysalises. Oh, this is inside the cup. It's really gross. You see, the exoskeletons are at the bottom. The waist, the bowel movements from the caterpillars are all at the bottom. And most of the food is all gone. You can still kind of see some of the silk left over. This is another set of our chrysalises. And there's that one that just didn't transform. Remember? Let's take the exoskeleton off. So that butterfly can come out safely. We want to make sure they have the best opportunity to survive. This one, you can see it split at its head. And it started turning into a chrysalis. But some something went wrong. Maybe the hormone wasn't done correctly in its body. Maybe it started transforming a little too soon. But it did not rip its exoskeleton off. And that one is is deceased. It is dead. It's pretty hard like a rock. It's not squishy like the other ones. We're going to leave this one just in case to see if it does come out of its chrysalis, but I don't think it's going to. And that's okay. It makes me a little sad that one of our, our caterpillars didn't make it, but we still have so many caterpillars, don't we? And they're chrysalises. <gasps> oh, did you see him? He wiggles. You tap on he wiggles. Because he thinks I'm a bird or some kind of predator, right? Oh, man. Maybe he's afraid. Maybe he's just worried. But every time he wiggles, he's trying to get me to go, go away. He's saying, go away, go away. I don't want you to eat me. No, don't eat me. Don't worry, little chrysalis. I won't eat you. See? Yeah, that one doesn't wiggle. That one's not alive like the other ones are. That makes me really sad. But I'm really glad my other ones have transformed so well. Look. They went through their entire metamorphosis. The biggest metamorphosis is from caterpillar to chrysalis. Because chrysalis is when the magic happens. Remember? Here are all our chrysalises in our our canopy, our butterfly canopy. You can see all of them there. We have 20 chrysalises. 17 look really healthy. Mm, three of them don't look so healthy. So we're hoping that maybe they'll come out. I can't wait to find out. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited too. Wow, look at how many babies we have. And they're all going to be butterflies soon. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to take care of you. <gasps> Thanks for stopping in and peeking at my chrysalises. You see me there? I was peeking at you. Did you like the footage? But it's really exciting, right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, inside the cup does look gross. I think so, too. But I think our chrysalis, our chrysalises look, look really beautiful. They're our babies. Your mommies and daddies to butterflies, aren't you? This is such a great experience. And there's so much magic happening inside here. Inside their chrysalises. Butterflies only live about four weeks. And we're, we're about into week three right now. So once they emerge, we're going to have to let them go outside in my garden. Now, the plants, our wildflowers, have not grown enough to feed them yet. So we might not have those wildflowers to feed them, but we'll have some oranges and I bet they're going to think they're super yummy. Oh, I think they're going to be really, really happy with orange slices. I can't wait to tell you about how they eat and about how they, they pop out of the chrysalis. Oh, there'll be more videos coming, okay? I love you, my friends, and I hope you have a good day. Happy learning!